and welcome back to Let's Play Lost in Blue 3. Alright, what's everyone doing today? Uh, let me see. What's our food situation like? Still have another barrel, but I think, yeah, we're running low on food. James? Gonna need you to go grab me, us some food. Uh, food. Thank you, bed. I'm glad to know you're hungry. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what, Claire? You go get some water. Actually, no, get firewood. I'll get the water today. Go get firewood. And Kumiko can stay home today. Although, actually, I'm gonna go take her to get some water first. Also, we don't need to carry that around. And why do I have a brown mushroom? Actually, no, I shouldn't leave that around. They'll try to eat it. And I think brown is poisonous, so I'll get rid of it in a second. But first, let's go get some water. And then I think tomorrow I'm going to- actually wait, is it three days or four days that it respawns? Actually today I might just go check to see if I can get some more copper wires. Because we need to start fixing some more doors to get anywhere. I could also try to go diving at the other beach, but that's gonna be a massive walk. And there might be a small risk of horrible, horrible death. Alright, I'll be back later. Oh wait. I forgot to drop off some water. What? Yes, I did forget something. Uh, let's just drop off the water real quick. And now let's head out. Yeah, we're hungry, but hunger doesn't affect anything, really. Now then, uh, the door I want is the one down here. Also, while we're out, we might as well stop by the beach. See if I can find another bottle. It would really help if we had a second bottle to start storing up some more water. But first things first, copper wire is kind of important. Also, I didn't see the phase of the moon last night. Is it, uh, what is it? Oh, I didn't mean to get the tree bark. Is it tied down today? Because if it is, I think we can get to the other room in the ship. Because I think there's something in there we can use. To at least get one of the endings. Although not the ending I'm going for, which is technically the quote-unquote normal ending. But that doesn't really matter right now. What matters is that we get more copper wire. Alright, let's get to that ship. Hopefully they've respawned by now. Oh, uh, actually wait, what's our energy like? I do have a blue mushroom, but I don't really want to use it. We'll be fine. Wait. James and Claire really need some water. Uh, I'll get them some when we get back. Although we do have like two liters in storage. Alright, let's see. Can I get down here? Oh, I think I can. Yes, I can. Let's see what's in here. Uh, we got a seed map. Well, probably, considering the sea doesn't really change that much. Also, we got a name of the island. And we know where the mainland is. So yeah, this island is called Little Xanadu. And with that, we can actually unlock another ending, but that one's kind of based on chance. So we'll just keep the sea chart handy. Oh wait, I see it, copper wire. Has only one respawn though? Let's see... Nothing over here. Let's check the other room. Come on, I just need two more. Uh, no, we only got one today. Alright, we'll come back tomorrow. But yeah, it was a good idea to come here today. 
because by tomorrow the tide will probably start coming back up. And we wouldn't have been able to get the C chart. But let's head back. Although I do want to stop by the beach uh, right over there. See if I can get another bottle. Because we do need to keep a track on our water. We didn't really have a big supply of water to begin with, and we're almost out again. And it's kind of a pain to keep dragging everyone over to get water. Although that would be a good way to build up a good supply. Oh well. Oh wait, there goes one. Claire just had some. Oh well, James is probably going to have the other uh, leader we have in storage. Oh well. Now then, uh, let's see, bottles, I see poppin', but those aren't bottles. Sticks, coconuts, don't really need any of those. Although at some point I could make a bow, although hunting, I've never gotten it to work in this game. Actually, I've never gotten hunting to work in any of the games. I am not good hunter. Oh, we got another oil drum, that's like three. Game, I don't want oil drums. I want bottles to fill the oil drums with. Oh wait, there was one at the first beach, but it was under the water. That's right. Although, might as well get some oysters. There we go. Alright, let's head back. Uh, do we need me We don't really need metal rods right now. I forgot about that half-empty- or that half-buried bottle on the first beach. Also, that's three high. We can't climb that yet. Yeah, we should probably head back. We're starting to run low on energy. Running out here during this giant windstorm is kind of draining. Also, James is going to need water pretty soon. Back to the hatch. And we even got some firewood out today. Today was kind of productive. We're going to need to go back to the ship tomorrow to get more copper wire. But oh well. We're going to be seeing that ship a lot. Oh, James had the other half. Uh, alright. In that case, actually no, I'll still bring him out to get some more water. Might as well bring them both to get water, just so I can start uh, getting some more water back. Food isn't the problem in this game, it's water. Let's get some more real quick. And let's head back. We have plenty of goodies. Actually, no, we didn't really get that many goodies today. But James probably brought a bunch of meat back, because he is James. And meat is kind of really good food. Hi, welcome home. Let's see. Got some firewood. And I think we got some meat. Let's see what we got. Uh, one second. Items. You only brought one back, back one drumstick. James, you disappoint me. Oh well. Alright, let's stick the wood. Oh wow, we have plenty of firewood now, at least. Also, we don't really need to hold on to any of this stuff. Put that away, put that away. Why do I have tree- oh right, tree bark. Oh wait, no, I don't want to put that there. Alright, I think I have everything I need. Let's cook some food and go to bed. Uh... Kumiko, you can cook. Actually, you know what, James? You can cook by yourself today. Let's see what you can do. Oh, wait, no, not favor. Never mind. How about we eat? Make it yourself. Uh, let's see. Let's just put everything we have in there. I'll just have him go get out some more food tomorrow. Hey, 
There you go. All right, let's see what he made. Oh, he's actually a good cook. Kinda. He's an okay cook. All right, that should be good. Let's just go to bed. And we'll save. All right, so today we're gonna head back to the ship real quick so we can get some more copper wire. We, I think I need two more to fix that door. But before we do anything, let's go get everyone nice and hydrated. Because one of these days I was going to have to do this anyways. Why not today? At least it's sunny out. So we won't really need to worry about a uh, energy drain. And it's kind of cloudy too. Basically extreme weather makes your energy drain faster. So like super sunny and hot. Actually no, super sunny and hot makes your thirst go down faster. That's right. Cloudy days are pretty much the best because they don't really affect you at all. And rainy days make your energy go down faster. Come on, Claire. Oh, wait. I always forget to drop off my water. What? Yes, I forgot something. I forgot to put this down. Also, James, I'm going to send you out right now. Go get me some food. Let's hope you can bring back more meat this time. Also, I think he's probably just carrying around that lard I gave him yesterday. Because I don't think James can use lard. I forget, it's one of the characters who can't do, like, certain cooking actions. Oh well. Alright, Claire is nice and hydrated. Let's head back. And I think today I'll have... Who do I want to go get? Actually, I'll go have uh, Kumiko get water today. She's actually relatively hydrated. For once. Although I will need her later to fix the door. But she should be back by the time we get back. Kumiko, do me a favor and get some water. Uh, Get something. Bring water. Even though you don't really have anything to carry it with. Then again, it shouldn't be that hard to fix, to uh, fashion up something that could carry water. Especially when you're in a man-made environment like this. There have got to be like old cups around. Actually, yeah, there should be some, actually no, by this point there probably wouldn't be supplies anymore. Considering it looks like this, it's been quite a while since people have been here. But let's go back to the ship. Here's hoping for more copper wire. But yeah, you would think there would be more supplies in an old re uh, research base like that. Oh well. Also, I might as well eat the mushroom. It's gonna go bad soon if I don't. Also, I still have an oil drum in my backpack. Actually, yeah, we're up to like three oil drums now, aren't we? Game won't stop spawning them. It's because in the other bases, I think in like the treehouse base and the quarry base, uh, you can make it into a bathtub if you have an extra oil drum. Not the, uh, what is it? Not the lab base though, that's kind of weird. Well, it would be kind of weird to put a bathtub in the break room, but still. I still can't get over the fact that we're living in a break room. Hi, phone. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see if the copper wire respawned yet. Anything at all. Come on, I still need two more. Let's check this room. Oh, I forgot to talk to people about the chart. Oh, wait, there they are. Goody. Alright, with this, we should be able to open up another door. And the mushroom finally kicked in. Let's head back and, uh, grab Kumiko. Actually, she might not be back yet.
Let's see. T actually, no, I think she might be back by now. We're gonna need her to fix the door for us, and then we can finally go in. I think this, the door we need is the one to the very far, like, the far left one. Is the one we got the code for last time. Anyways, we're almost back. Uh, do I want to go to the beach today? Nah. Let's see if I can beat her home. That way she doesn't drink our water store. We're gonna need to pass by the underground lake anyways to get to the door I want. So let's just run back and hope she doesn't drink anything. That water is mine. Actually, technically it's ours, but oh well. Oh wow, that mushroom barely lasted anything. Oh well. It got us across the jumping through the rocks part. Which is honestly the most energy draining part. Anything that involves a lot of jumping drains a lot of energy. I don't know how exact it is in this game, but in like previous games, every one of those actions would cost one stamina. No matter what. In the first game, it was kind of a pain to get across the island because of that. Because there weren't any real major shortcuts. Uh, Kumiko isn't back yet. Yes, good for you all. But anyways, I think we'll end it here then. So, next time on Let's Play Lost in Blue 3, we're going to unlock another door. So, until then.